Hi, welcome. We're gonna make another video for the Calamares series. I just put online on Facebook that you can actually have four partitions on your hard disk, for instance, like an Arc Linux, an Arc Linux uh, D, and why not have two Bs, a Cinnamon and a Plasma, for instance. It's all possible on one hard disk, four partitions. Now, if we would do this exercise, and let's make a new one, let's call it uh, 1TB in the sense that a hard disk often is expressed in terabytes so we have a big hard disk that we're going to divide into 250 250 250 for example right now i don't have that kind of luxury and space but we can just simulate it arch linux fine 5050 in memory and here we're going to simulate. How much can I simulate? I have 274 gigabyte free. So if you want to have four partitions, 160 gigabyte is 40 gigabyte per partition, right? Arcanlux, Arcanlux uh, D and B and B. So create. Now it's not finished. Don't stop here because we need to go into settings and you go over all the settings that you like. I'm gonna go over, you can enable EFI here, but we're going for MBR, it's quicker to boot. Uh, set this one to half, right, 4.4. Four. Enable PA is good. Display, 50.50. This one is ugly if you forget this one, I just forgot it and had to, to do the video again. So you need to set VBOX VGA. Otherwise you get a very, very small window and it's ugly. So, and then enable 3D acceleration, and for the rest we're all good, the storage, and that's okay. So we have our simulated hard disk for 160 gigabytes, and we're going to put something in there. So we're gonna choose an image, and these days you will see the video pretty soon about the releases. We have a little bit of choice these days. So. We're starting always with the, the parent, the, the, the template, which is the Arc Linux ISO, the one with XFC, Openbox, and i3. If we boot with that one, maximizing everything, and as you can see, it's colorful, it means MBR. Black lines, black uh, background, white lines, EFI, GPT. Let's hope that stays that way, easily recognizable. All right, we're at the Arco Linux installer and we're going to skip in the videos all the installations, otherwise the video would be super, super long. Super interesting for later that we are on 3.2.10. If you're watching the video again and wondering what version was it. And then Belgian next. And we are raising a disk, this is my option all the time raise disk no swap that's what i do okay so let's assume we first say okay we'll test this out not thinking about future partitions so that's easy it's fun just install like always so like i uh, suggested let's um, come back when everything is installed all right we're going to restart this virtual box the ISO is still in there, so we'll get choice to boot from existing OS. And there we are. Eight seconds later, you have a working system. It takes five minutes to install and eight seconds to boot up. So pretty happy about that. So we have a system. It's all up to date. You know the drill, what you need to do after a clean installation. You update things. But maybe first, Eric, you just check the mirrors, whether you're living in America or in China or in Brazil, etc., etc. Um, better check if you have the proper mirrors and then you can say, let's update the system. Knowing very well that this is just going to update Arc Linux stuff. These are two packages and it's going to update uh, all the rest is Arch, right? Nothing to do with us, all Arch Linux. So we're going to update those. There are some important stuff in there I see already. We have a system D that's new. And 
there is no Linux kernel in there but there could have been and so anyway rebooting is, is of the essence if you get those things in then immediately you know everything will work All right, let's wait a little bit, let's pause here. And three seconds later, it was finished. There is also the PKSYUA, so everything that's now, I'm pressing Control C, everything that's now um, installed is just coming from the AOR because of my update I did earlier on. If you start with PKSYUA, it does just everything. So that's the shortcut if you want to. Now. This is just a test, so I'm not going to waste my space and time with building Pemec A1. I'm going to reboot, right? Because I thought, hey, what the hell? Uh, why not install something else? But Control F. Why not um, try out Arch Linux D on my computer? So I'm going to choose my disk image. All right, yippa. you choose whatever you like. It's going to be lots of choices. It's pretty easy and straightforward, but I'll explain later. So this is the Arch Linux D. Control F. And we boot from Arch Linux D. Did you see the white icon up there? The white logo means you are booting Arch Linux D. From time to time I have here 30 USBs. I pop it in and say, what is this? Well, the logo already uh, tells it, of course, the text as well. It said Arch Linux D. But the logo now is also a message to me. Hey, this is the Arch Linux D version. Belgian, next. Now, here comes the fun. So once you have a partition completely for some kind of operating system, now this is also a general explanation. I mean, Calamaris is used in other Linux distros as well. That's always my intention in the Calamaris series to, well, just talk about Linux and Calamaris. So we have options here, install alongside. And that's a pretty interesting option. That's what I did. And that's what you have seen on Facebook, the image. All you need to do is select the partition to shrink, then drag the bottom bar to resize. Now we have promised ourselves that we'll take some more or less 40 like this, right? So the blue one will be shrunk, is that the word? Into uh, 40 gig and all the red is going to be Arch Linux D. And the next time, I'll do exactly the same. The red one will be shrunk and etc. etc. So that's why I'm skipping all the installation videos. But Calamaris can do it. And let's wait for this to finish as well. All right, another partition created. Let's restart and have a look. Maybe it's time we take a look at uh, cheap parted what's going on on our machine. We have already something that's obviously changed here. The grub looks a bit different and we can start with Arch Linux D. <laughs> what do we see on Arch Linux D? Not much, right? So we have here SDA1 and SDA2, two partitions that we've created and Installing a Linux system is so easy on Arch Linux. It is. So sudo pacman minus s, and then you say let's have xfce4. Let's install that one very easy and quickly. You're gonna need something to display it, so light dm is gonna be needed. And we have our own packages for light dm and the light dm greeter so that they look awesome a little bit theming and tweaking arco linux yeah light and settings greeter and that's it that's all you need to have a complete system isn't that swell oops typos are not allowed that's something he does he does that voila 174 megabyte and you have an xfc system it's nothing really and it installs even very fast, I find always. There it is, it's installed. Now you have to tell the system, hey, don't forget to start with uh, LightDM. So let's enable it. 
that's it. To the reboot, we have a system that's working. It's that easy. Well, let's do a G part later on when we're graphical, and then you see a visual uh, representation of what we've done. So if you're on Fios 5, Arch Linux, this would be the thing you do if you want to uh, install XFCE. So there's not much to it once you know it. So Control T, let's continue with G parted. And installed. Ooh, it was already installed, was it? Smart from us. So, G parted. This is what the system looks now today. I have one guy for Arch Linux Big ISO, which only contains 9.39 gigabytes. This big uh, chunk is now for Arch Linux D, but I'm going to make it smaller. So I got another two things on there. So that's basically, we're not going to do anything here. Just let um, Calamaris do its work. I am going to put, however, something else in my ISO, so something else in my drive. I'm going to install, why not Arch Linux B bare LTS, right? Doesn't really matter what you choose. I hope you get that. So you boot up with another ISO and it's the same Calamaris as all the others with the same config just the config for BSPWM very specifically there you go and that's one of the things that's specific all these images some text and some packages we're not going to erase this we're going to install alongside again so this green guy needs to go will be shrunk to 40 something like that another 40 here right next well eric this is eric Linux b and we can't use spaces but we can type this and now we have to wait again so i'll be back when this is done all right all done let's restart again so if we're booting up from the os we have three lines okay Arcanlinks B, BSP, WM is of course, the, the last one is always the first line. That's a given, that's, that's normal, that's the way it is. It has been like that forever. So BSP, WM, here we are. Uh, did I install the minimal or something? The bear, the bear does not contain uh, gparted. So sudo pipeline minus s gparted. Bear means totally empty. Minimum means less applications and the full, we don't talk about the name as full, but if it does not contain the word min or bear, then you know it's full. So I wanted to go to gparted, that's the guy. Let's kill this one. So now we have three pieces. Okay, one, two, three pieces. So, last time, let's reboot. Let's sh shut down and choose something else. I don't know, whatever you want. How about cinnamon, a budgie, mate, plasma, xmonad, Qtile? It's uh, 13 desktops you can choose from. And there are different versions, the minimal version. And these days also the long-term support which means the kernel. Um, I'll explain that all, all of that later in a video, but choosing is losing. I'm gonna go for plasma, min LTS. All right, let's do that one. So double click and let's boot up. Uh, 
and this is him communicating with the server and if he gets answer from the server then he knows where you live and have this pin in the correct place let's hope so and then we are going to install alongside again right so this thing is going to be 50 50 it's already more or less okay right and we are going to save for next so we can have four primary partitions that's no problem at all and that's probably gonna be enough to experiment anyway let's see uh, plasma login automatically and we have to wait again for the installation all right see you later and it's finished let's restart which means we have a long grub this one and as you see there are sometimes icons that are not looking nice but we have a fix for that we've created it just today anyway this is the first one the first one is a linux lts so that's correct and it should be plasma and it is and let's have a look at g parted was it the minimal one let's see if G part is installed on that one sorry come on g part it is installed yes jump 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 isn't it nice our little pie here has been cut into four pieces and we can boot up into any of those if you don't trust me let's choose i don't know which one but let's reboot in one of them and then call it a day and uh, end this video and make an article on articlelinux.com in the all you need to know about let's take second one about calamaris and you can keep switching between them which is of course super awesome with one hard disk you have four systems really all right enjoy